Hello, today we are going to be going over increasing and decreasing intervals of functions. Um, so we have two, uh, we have increasing versus decreasing linear piecewise, and then we also have increasing and decreasing domain. So we'll go ahead and start with the linear piecewise because it's actually a little bit easier to see with linear functions. All right, so here is our function. We are we have three segments, segment one, segment two, segment three. And then I know this looks intimidating, but um, this is just asking us what is happening on each one. So first thing it's asking about is segment one. So segment one. So segment one, looking at it, this is increasing. And then we are increasing on the interval. This is asking for the x values where this is increasing. So segment one, we are increasing from negative nine is where we start off with. And then finally, we are increasing all the way to negative four. I do not care about the y values. I don't care about it's going from this y to this y. I'm looking at the x. I'm looking at this domain. So we are increasing from negative nine to negative four. Even it says x in there. All right, second one, uh, segment two. Well, same thing. We are increasing in segment two from here to here. So that domain, we are increasing on this interval. And that domain is going to be from negative four to two. So we are increasing from negative four to two. And then last one, I mean, not really um, exciting, but we are increasing again. Um, segment three, we are increasing from two to seven. So from two to seven. Uh, so that is increasing from two to seven. And you should be good there. All right, now, um, ones where we are um, not necessarily linear, let's take a look at the next one. Find increasing and decreasing domains. All right, so this one, where is this function increasing? Uh, well, if I'm looking at this, uh, we are increasing from this point on. We are increasing from this point on. So for this, we start increasing at five. We go from left to right. We start increasing at five. And then we are increasing forever and ever and ever and ever. Um, the symbol for that is our infinity sign. We are increasing from five to infinity. So that is our increasing domain. Let's look at another one. All right, this one, where are we increasing here? All right, well, we are increasing from the very start. And we are increasing, we're going up, and we are going up until this moment in time. All right, now for this, for our answer, we are increasing from, well, I don't really have a starting point. This goes off forever. So this would be from negative infinity, and we are increasing up to one. Now, I don't know if anybody... Uh, anybody has questions over this, but typically with these, we don't have to worry about brackets. Well, first off, it'd be ridiculous to have a bracket on infinity anyway. Um, but technically at one, we're really not increasing or decreasing. We're just kind of flat. So that's why I didn't put a bracket there. All right, and let's do one more quick. Uh, when is this decreasing? Well, we are decreasing from here to this moment in time. We are decreasing so this value would be from negative infinity. If you just, oh, nope, it doesn't let you do it. You gotta click the button. From negative infinity up to negative five, we are decreasing. So that is on increasing and decreasing intervals. The next video we'll be going over is positive and negative values.